Hey guys, what's up? Brent Calmer from Blue Water VST. Got a quick tip for those of you who use uh, samples inside Reactor and sample maps, which is of course pretty much all of us. Now sample maps are a wonderful thing, but they're pretty tedious to create, especially if you're inside Reactor, just adding individual samples to the map. It can really be a drag. Fortunately for us, someone has taken the time and used his expertise to create a sample map generator that runs on Java. So this can be found on a website called relivethefuture.com and it's in a subsection called Corenzone. I'll put this link in the description section of the YouTube page. And as I said, you have to have Java on your system, so make sure you have that and then just simply uh, click on this link to download it. Now once you've done that, just go back to uh, the location that you've downloaded it to and uh, double, it looks like this, it's just called mapfilebuilder.jr. Double click on that and it will open. It's a very uh, stripped down interface, so we just have a few options here. In the choose map directory section, this is where we, we want to have the map be placed after we've created it. So for our purposes, I'm just going to select desktop and just uh, choose that as the map directory. Now the sample directory is where the samples that we want to add to the map live. Now in my case, I have created just a folder of, of samples from various sample packs and put them on the desktop. So I'm going to go to desktop and then click on this loops folder and click choose. And now we have uh, both a path for the map and for the samples. And now I can just click on uh, create maps. There are a couple other options here as well, but as I click on create maps, you saw that uh, this, this map just pops right up on my desktop or wherever I've chosen to, to uh, save the map. And then if I go to reactor, I can load an ensemble like random step shifter, which is a loop chopping ensemble. And just right out of the box, it sounds like this. So you can see it's kind of moving through that sample in different ways. It, it's a very imaginative ensemble. It creates a lot of kind of cool, cool broken beat type vibes. But what you want to do is uh, make sure you have edit mode open so that you can access the sample map editor. And, and you do that by clicking on this waveform icon at the bottom of the side sidebar here. And that will bring up the sample map editor. Now if I click on the waveform in random step shifter, the, the map itself will come up. And then I can click on these and hear them in unadulterated form. Now that's of course if I have auto on. The auto means that it will auto audition uh, the sample as, as you click on it. Otherwise you can just click play to, to play it. But we hear that there are all these different samples that are in here and that are being used as the raw material by Random Step Shifter. Now what I want to do is just load the map that we've just created. And I'm going to go to edit this drop down and go to load map and then just select the map that we've just created click open and there it is so now it's this very nice and tidy map that's been put in there it has what 102 samples in it and we see that immediately the samples begin to appear and if I uh, get the sequencer going now we hear that it's using our samples the ones that we've just imported now uh, in the case of random step shifter you can do things like uh, select a first and last sample so in the case of first zero selected in the case of last, I can crank it all the way up to 102, which is the last sample that I have, and then move through these. And I can use all the other snapshots as well, so there's, there's no limit to what you can do with your, your loops and samples in an ensemble like this. And this is just a very slick way of creating kind of a nice batch of raw material to use with something like Random Step Shifter or Splitter or any of the other kind of sample transforming ensembles in Reactor. So again, that is the sample map generator that is uh, courtesy of a guy named Martin at uh, relivethefuture.com. Head over there and uh, download it, leave a comment for him, tell him, tell him how much you appreciate it. and. Uh, I'll talk to you again soon. I hope you enjoy this, guys. See you later.